This is our pre-amplifier S10. In order to use this device, we first plug in the power. As you can see, it can support a 5 volt 1 amp micro USB power. Once it plugged in, you will see the LED in the front flashing. This indicates that the system is booting up. When it's finished, it will become slowly flashes, which indicates it is finding the Wi-Fi connection. If you don't want to use Wi-Fi, you can use the LAN port. Just plug in the LAN cable, and you can see that it becomes solid, which indicates that the network is connected. Beside the power, this is an aux out, which is also called line out. This is used to connect external speakers. You can use ceiling speakers, bookshelf speakers, or even Bluetooth speakers. In order to use this, you use this RCA cable, you plug this end to the device, and you connect this end to the speaker, the left or left channel and right channel. Beside that is the opt in, which is a line input. You want to use this to connect the audio source you want to stream through the network. You use the same cable, and on this end, you can connect to a CD player, TV, or any audio source you want to play that has the RCA connection. The USB here is for playback MP3 stored in the USB storage. Just push it, push it in, and then it will turn into a red light. Indicates that it is in USB mode, it will automatically place back the music inside the USB. At last, this is a sleep or reset button. When you click once, it will turn it off in the sleep mode. And then you click again, it will turn back on the player. Another function for this reset is, if you, if you want to reset the Wi-Fi network or Bluetooth connection, you can hold this button for eight seconds, then it will disconnect the current connection. Another function is, if you are in a different mode that you want to go back to the network, uh, to the network, yes, the Wi-Fi or LAN, you unplug this. Before you plug this in, hold this button and press, press, push this in. It will force the device to go back to the network setup mode. This is our DIY board the off the stream mini as you can see they have similar connection same for the power this is the aux out and the slip button this is our up to stream pro as you can see they actually have to share the same connectors This is our S50 Pro pre-amplifier. The connection is similar to our S10. I'll show you the difference. Oh, one thing. For the power, remember to only use 5 volt power. If you use power supply that over, go over 5 volt, it will damage the device. First, I'll show you this is the Wi-Fi antenna and the Bluetooth antenna. We will need to install the antenna into it. It's very easy. Just go straight and then turn. And then this is done. If you did not install this, then you won't have any Wi-Fi signal or Bluetooth signals. Then the same as the before using the connect network. USB to play back music from the USB drive. Line in one, line in two is the same for the audio source. Line out to output to a speaker. You will see a new connector here. This is the speed of digital output. This is for the coax cable and this is for optical cable. 
like the one I have here. Just plug this in. This is mainly used to stream music uh, to the uh, digitally. Connect it to the TV or other high-end amplifiers. This is our A30 amplifier. It can output a 30 volt plus 30 volt to speaker, which means it's a 30 volt to left channel and 30 volt to right channel. In order to use this, we first plug in the power, and you can see that this is use a 15 volt 4 amp power. Just plug in, and it's ready to go. For the speaker out, it's used to connect it to the speaker that you have. You can use the Phoenix connector that come with the device, with the speaker cables. Just push this inside the hole, and then use the screwdriver to tighten it up. As you can see, it's used for left channel negative, left channel positive, right channel negative, and right channel positive. Once you connect it, and then you just plug this in. The aux in is the line in for the audio source. USB for playback MP3 stored in the USB pen drive. Then for the network cable, it also has a built-in internal Wi-Fi cable inside. So you can use Wi-Fi or LAN. This is our A50 amplifier. This amplifier is able to output 50 volt to each channel. It's a 2.0 channels amplifier. The DC, the power cable it uses is a 24 volt and 4.16 amp. Other thing is same as the A30. Speaker output for the speakers, then for network, USB to playback MP3 music, line output to use analogs to the speakers, line input from the audio source, reset button, and the Wi Fi and the Bluetooth antennas. Okay. This is our DIY amplifier. This is up to stream amp. It has the similar connection we have mentioned before. Reset button, then USB. This micro USB is actually for connect to computer. So you can use a uh, computer as an audio source. This is the output, line in output, speaker output, and the power. The power for this board, it can support from 12 volt to 26 volt. As long as it don't exceed the 100 watts in total, then it will be no problem to use. 100 watts is because each channel supports a 50 watts power. These two cables are the Wi-Fi cable and the Bluetooth cables. This is our OptiStream M2.1. In the front, you can see these three volume knobs. This is for the volume, the triple, and bass. Similar at the back, the power, LAN, USB, micro USB for connection of computers, output, line in output, power buttons. As you can see that this connector has six connectors. This is because it, this board also supports the subwoofer output. So the total power output is uh, 50 watt for left, 50 watt for right, and 100 watt for the subwoofer. Here is the Wi-Fi cable. You can see there's a plug here, and see this silver line here. This is the, actually the onboard Bluetooth antenna. If you don't like it, or if you put this board inside a metal casing. You can use external cables like uh, the one we use, the cell. In order to use this, take this out. You don't 
to that red tape. Connect this connector to port here. Push it in. This side, you can screw it on your casing. Once you secure it, you can connect this cable with this antenna as an external antenna. If you like this channel, please press the subscribe button. And don't forget to press that little bell to receive notice when we release our new videos. Thank you.